Why, hello there. Hello. And hello again to you. So, first things first. Where did I get this hat? It was made for me from a little old lady. Uh, the uh, Salvation Army in Prescott is fantastic. And there's little old ladies there that make hats for the homeless. And I love it. I actually had two, but I washed one. And it came out about that big. So, um, yeah. This will be washed gently. I've got hair all over the place. Um, okay. I'll, before I talk about today... I started a GoFundMe and I didn't want to do it because I don't know. I'm embarrassed, you know, even when someone says me like 10 bucks and stuff or 20 bucks or something, I feel bad, <laughs> you know, and I shouldn't um, because, you know, people need help sometimes. So I'll put it in the description of this video. I don't know how to put it on, uh, you know, on my page yet, but, um, it's been kind of a long day, and so um, I'll probably do it tomorrow. So today, we went down the hill, and guess what? We cleaned all the clothes, so I am fresh. Oh my gosh, I'm fresh. One of my loads, I didn't put laundry detergent in it because I didn't have any more left, but they still smell all good Um, on the way back. Uh, oh, I left. Remember the the uh, scooter that I got? The um, treasure that I found, and then I got it about a month later? Well, there's plugs at, um, at Walmart, and so I plugged it in, and I left it there. So hopefully, I don't even know if it works. So someone is going to have a Razor Scooter Pink. <laughs> hopefully somebody takes it. I was going to... Um, go back but i'm like you know i don't want to drive you know due to all the situations about the driving situations hi t t t and just before i turned to um you know for the ride home there was a police officer in back of me and i said oh gosh here we go but he was in the next lane in back of me and i'm like oh he's gonna cut on in and get me um but he didn't <laughs> so it's been a good day uh, the reason why I'm starting to go fund me is it, it, after I did laundry and stuff, you know, I still needed to get some stuff. And so I went down to the store. By the way, food stamps have been out forever, but I get them on the 12th. And once again, it's like, do I get bread or do I get bagels? One or the other, you know, and I just feel like such a loser. So when I got back here, I cried and felt sorry for myself for a moment. And then I decided I was just going to do the GoFundMe because... I was told, I'm one of those people probably like you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I feel so bad. No, 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 no. You sure? Why are you jumping on me? But I was told before one time that if you don't accept things from people that are willing to give you things, you are doing something bad to them. Because a lot of people get a lot of joy of giving and such. And that made sense. But it, it was still hard, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's about it for today, I guess. I mean, I got back here. I forgot to get water, but that's okay. And my friends are supposed to be coming tomorrow. Um, but I don't know what time. And I don't know. I mean, you never you know no expectations you know um but i'm really excited if they come <sighs> i'm really excited um, i don't know if they'll want to be on camera or whatever i don't even know um also i want to try to go live because um they charge me 35 dollars for data like out of nowhere and i'm like what i didn't say data and they said well it's already on your account you can't get it back so if you have cricket watch the fuck out and i've been with them forever and ever and ever so what am i gonna do tonight i was gonna do a fire and i was gonna start chopping some wood but um it looks like it's gonna keep raining i don't know like look here see it's nice and clear and then 
right over here you can't really see but blackness comes in and it, it does it in a second it'll be like shiny and fresh i was burning up today it was 80 something degrees and i know that you know people you know in the valley you'd be like oh my gosh that's freezing but when you're used to the cold and i say that with gladness because i'm 53 i moved here when i was seven 40 uh, for 47 years <laughs> i have every single summer been in fucking burning heat so i'm gonna be grateful for that today and um yeah that's about it have a beautiful night um, i'm gonna do my really really best and um and not have self-pity you know why should i have self-pity i have friends that are supposed to come tomorrow i got a beautiful dog my truck made it there and back Oh, every single time I turn my truck off, I have to jump start it. So, yeah, that's a problem. Um, but it starts every time, knock on wood. So, I guess more shall be revealed. Not going to worry about it. I'm going to just deal with it when and if it happens. Because that's the only way I can do it. Otherwise, I'll start worrying about everything. Winter's coming. I'm going to die. Oh, my God, it's so cold. Oh, you know, and I got enough. <laughs> You know, so thank you for um, coming on this journey with me and listening to me and not making fun of my hat. Look at, I can move my ears. One of these times I'll show you how I can move my ears. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful night and thank you again. Bye.